Hey folks, I uh, wanted to do a quick video on how I built this retaining wall here and a couple of the small lessons learned from this little project. So the wife came home with a couple of plants and uh, one of them right there is an elephant hosta, which is kind of a neat plant. It's really hardy, but it's got these huge leaves on it. Uh, so if you're looking for a simple ornamental, uh, they take off. So just uh, <clears throat> you grab one of those, drop them in, and you don't even need to worry about it. Don't water it. Don't do anything. It'll be fine. But uh, yeah, this retaining wall is a project we're working on today. Um, and, you know, she basically tells me, oh, well, you know, this, this area over here next to the walkway gets a bunch of rocks in from, you know, from over here in the driveway. This is my, my dirt driveway. And, you know, the, that just keeps spilling over. So we nice we had a little retaining wall there. So uh, I kind of just grabbed some extra 4x4s I had. And I just want to go over a couple things here. So you can see it's actually three... 4x4 four is deep, okay, total. Uh, this first one is almost completely buried as you go over there. Okay, you can see that's, this is the second one right here. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is right, right here is where the, where the, where that is buried. So it's almost completely buried, right? And, you know, we're not talking a lot of weight here. Uh, and it piles up to <clears throat> just, just above that one, okay? And I kind of stamped it down a little bit, so... You know, over time, it's probably going to build up a little bit more on this side and whatnot. Um, but what I really want to show you was, was these guys, okay? And this is what I used uh, to kind of put them together. So I buried this one, and I just buried it right in the ground and put some rocks under there. I leveled it out. Um, I cut these out of 45, and I went back. This is an inch and a half. Uh, in hindsight, I'd rather go, I should have really gone back about an inch, okay? Because this is a little bit drastic. But, you know, you get an idea of, of what you're working with there, right? So if you go back an inch and a half on a on a 4x4, uh, that's what you'll see. So, anyways, these guys right here are awesome. These uh, timber locks, okay? Here's the one I have right here. Uh, and I'll try to leave a link in the description below of the ones I used. But they're, uh, you know, 5 16 by 5 and an eighth. And when you look at the 4x4s, <clears throat> it works out real well. Because um, you can see there, okay, you see how far that goes down. Right into here. Look over here. See how far that goes down into the second one, right? So here's the end of the second one. It still goes down a good, you know, uh, inch and a half into it. So that's what I used. I put them in. You can see I got them in there a little recessed, so it's nice and flat. And I did the same thing for the second one. This one doesn't have any anchors in the ground or anything. Just buried it in, stamped it down, and we're good to go. So uh, yeah. And for this one, I did the same thing. I did two in. I think I did one in like right here, and then one close to the the, the cement there, the foundation for the garage. And and then that, put these two back uh, in the top. So yeah, and they're like a star bit. They come with the bit and everything. But yeah, that's just how I did it. Real simple. And, uh, you know, just wanted to make a quick video and show you how that was done. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.